this is the Millennium Falcon. Scale of Leverage, uh, January the 10th, 2014 in Sonora, Texas. On their way to, uh, on their way to pick up the kiddos in San Antonio. And I wanted to show everyone the 30-foot Catalina Sport Coachman. It's a 2001, it's got a gas guzzler, uh, V10, Triton V10, which doesn't really do much for me, but it is what it is. Oh, in the original video, when y'all hear my son Blaine go, wow, that's why he went, wow. They thought that was so cool. So... Now we've got Chewbacca. Say hi, Riggs. He's mad at me. I wouldn't even go outside. He already went, though. Anyway, we've got the captain's chair for Han Solo. Me. And the co-pilot. Got some really good stuff here. Some Essential Willy. Illusion 2. They, they're out of Illusion 1. David Allen Coe, Kid Rock, uh, Johnny Horton. Oh, that brought back some memories, man. This, I thought it was GNR Lies. I bought it used. It's not. It's, uh, what's his name? Eminem? Yeah, I've heard of him, and I've heard some of his music, but, man, that guy's got some serious mama issues. Anyway, Merle Haggard, Jerry Jeff Walker, uh, Charlie Daniels Band. Forgive my sniffing. I'm just now getting over this sinus infection. I got a nice little bed up here and fresh fruit over there. Little table. This couch makes down into a bed. An oven, a microwave, and a little coffee snob. So I brought my Keurig. Uh, got that chock full of uh, organically prepared meals by my wonderful sister and myself. A bunch of berries and back here's the lavatory a nice little closet and drawers that's the prepper and you didn't know that and that's actually dirty laundry it's not uh, you got to be efficient this I mean it's big this thing's big but it's not, it's not that big so I mean I've got my broom right there but anyway here's the, the boys bunks and I installed a little flat screen TV here for them. They get to finally play their Xbox again. Got their games and movies and blankets and books and stuff up there. Masuka got grounded permanently because she took a big old crap right in the middle of Blaine's bed. I almost threw up. It was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. Fortunately, I had plastic underneath there. I just rolled up the whole thing and threw it in the junk. And... Went and got them all new bedding. They've got, everyone's got now a, they already said they loved how comfortable the beds were. But now they got these, these gel foam things. So I like doing little neat little surprises for them. It's the little things that they just think is so cool. You know, kind of like Blaine. He thought that was so cool with the uh, little step coming out there. What do you see, Rigsy boy? So anyway, oh yeah, I forgot to say, show you. Got a big old medicine cabinet here, plumb full of every kind of itch relief, pain relief, bandage. I've got two or three uh, first aid kits in the back. This London wound up getting sick. Y'all you know, saw in that original video where she uh, she says, "Daddy, I'm be careful. I'm highly contagious." Of course, her cute little germs don't scare me. But we went to Palmetto State Park. It's a really cool park. And she got bronchitis there. She was getting wheezy. Hayden had picked up a, uh, a boomerang at Bucky's. If you have never been to a Bucky's, I don't know if they have them wherever you're from. But in the kind of like southeast Texas, central Texas, they got these. They're like 7-Elevens on steroids. They literally have like 100 gas pumps and all kinds of cool stuff. So Hayden and Hayden was doing the the... The, uh, the boomerang, Blaine was doing the bull whips and London was doing the bullets. She started wheezing. I said, London, I think you need to go in. It's kind of chilly. It's about 45 or so. It's not real cold. but So I stayed in here the rest of the day with her. The boys went hiking. I wanted to go, but you know, London just didn't feel good. Well, she kept getting worse. I said, London, I'm about to take you to the hospital. 
she said, no, Daddy. And then she got real bad, and I panicked. I said, boys, if it'll fall, grab it, throw it in the grant, put it in the bathtub. I ran outside, yanked the cord out, and I just left. I didn't care. I was driving like a bat out of hell. Well, after we get done at the hospital, the kids were laughing at me. Actually, we were still in the hospital. Uh, you remember that scene from Christmas Vacation when Cousin Eddie got pissed off at Clark's uh, boss for ripping him off on his bonus? That was me. I was he, driving that RV, and of course, I didn't go kidnap anybody, but anyway, the kids were laughing at me because, I mean, I was honking, I was flooring it, and the Millennium Falcon with that V10, that's part of the reason we call it that. It'll This little big old thing will fly, considering how heavy it is. But uh, We wound up going to the hospital in Seguin. I didn't even know where it was. Parker had... Uh, he had Googled the, the closest hospital and come find out it was Seguin. And that's something that can also change is everywhere we go now, I'll, I'll look up ahead of time all the surrounding, the closest hospital, just in case, because you never know. So London got a shot. She didn't cry. She just, you know, oh, she goes, that didn't hurt too bad. And she's, she's tough. And the doctor was really impressed with how she was able to articulate exactly what was wrong. I mean, for an eight-year-old, I mean, she talks like an adult. Of course, she's sharp as a tack. But anyway, within two hours, we were out of there. So we, what turned, what turned, what could have been, it was scary. It turned out that we had actually, we were cutting up in the, in the area right in the hospital, just having a blast. So anyways, I'm about to hit, I got about another two and a half hours. I'm kind of early today. So we're going to a place called Pecan Park. And this is a, a private place so they allow dogs and apparently there's dozens and dozens and dozens of really cool RV parks and state parks within an hour hour and a half of San Antonio so this is us finding the silver lining in this problem that we seem to have at the moment so it ain't much but it's the best I can do to be involved in my kids lives as far as far as providing some kind of home and we're just dang happy with it we're just dang content with it you know We've got a great, actually two awesome trips planned this summer. I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's, it's, we're going, uh, we'll be RVing then, like really on the road. It's going to be really fun. So if you like our content, uh, spread our videos around, subscribe to the channel, and I'm out.